Birth, life, death. We are born, we live, we die. Obed was born, Obed lived, Obed died. But did he truly experience life? Or simply, merely, exist with no purpose? For some, the time we are on this earth is spent trying to leave something behind after our death. An impression, a mark, a legacy, good or bad. Abraham Lincoln abolished slavery. Adolf Hitler was responsible for the death of 12 million people. Both extraordinary men, both remembered equally, both accomplished something. What of those who don't? What is the purpose of their existence? Obed, in today's standards, was not unsuccessful. He worked a steady job with steady income, had a steady girlfriend who loved and cared for him. He had family, friends, and acquaintances, all of whom respected him, cared for him, and loved him. So why couldn't Obed, surrounded by these loving people, feel happiness? Why was he so numb? Is it personal fulfillment? A sense of wholeness? Not everyone feels the same way Obed felt, of course. Some are content to getting by on the bare minimum. Others find refuge in menial tasks. Others busy themselves keeping up to date with the media and what their favorite star is doing. Others sedate their emotions with drugs and alcohol, going from meaningless job to meaningless job, hoping they'll find some kind of direction. Others start a family of their own in hopes of building them up to be great, only to end up abusing them due to their own inability to prosper. The rest? The rest wait until they hit rock bottom, then run to God for salvation. Perhaps this is where they find fulfillment. As children, we are told we can become anything we want. As we grow into adults, we slowly realize that that, in fact, is false. We can become anything we want, yes, to a certain degree, within our realm of reality. We first have to go through a series of obstacles. If we can get past religion, race, gender, and environment, then it's all up to motivation, desire, and obsession to actually do what you want. But man is ignorant, and as long as there is man, there will be ignorance. Therefore, ignorance is eternal. Obed was one of these children. Obed grew up. He wanted things. He couldn't reach them. Obstacle after obstacle after obstacle, his obsession and desire began to win until he could no longer remember what he wanted and his obsession vanished like a flame consumed by water. As a result, he could no longer feel. He couldn't cope. He was aware that he could not live. He could not live this life with no purpose. So Obed, like many others, became just another body, lost in the endless sea of nothing. We are born, we live, and then we die just like our dreams. Obed was born, Obed lived, and then died. However, Obed never truly experienced life. He simply, merely existed with no purpose. Birth, life, death.